And we are back with Phoenix Wright Justice for All Marathon Part 2 of the first investigation. Yes, let's go. Well, at least we were able to keep Mr. Matt on guard with our client. But we know that he didn't do it, which is very important. And by that I mean case work, and I forgot to say that. So now, that, what should we do? Well, the trial's tomorrow. We only get this one chance. Yes. There's only one way to prove Mr. On Guard's innocent. We have to find the real killer. Exactly. Okay then, let's start working. Let's go. Yeah. Starting with the hotel lobby. Yes. Where are we Actually, gonna meet? Actually, uh, going to the Gate Water Hotel. That's what I meant. Sorry. Doesn't matter. Lobby. Hotel lobby. And hey! Meet what do you think you're doing? An you alien. Come in without. Good morning. Hold on. It's you. What is going on around here? Uh, um. I heard what one was killed. Is that true? It's a bad rerun is what it is. I found a steel samurai doing the most evil of deeds. Well, darn me. You know, that's not entirely... I'll have you know what I was a huge fan of once. While wide all the stars, I'm interested in dropping one by one like flies. And yada, 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 yada. This is the story. Arthur, this is the story of her life. When she was a little girl, she was always bullied. <laughs> and also she killed your father, yeah. <laughs> when she was six. I was rapping for no reason. But that was blame too. Yeah. <laughs> Let's not ever do that again. Thank you. Um, actually, I wanted to ask you about the murder and what happened. <laughs> Don't push me, boy! Boy? Uh, Misty Nick? I couldn't hear everything she said because she's talking too fast. Maybe you press four. <laughs> Fast forward, not backwards. Because yeah. I'm doing that joke since a yesterday. Little slower. Don't bust me around, you spiky hair, spotty pants! Ah, uh, break on up! Da 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 da. Find your hammer and died a year ago in that dreadful murder. Only recently did I finally find a star that makes this star go bump again. I don't know what to say. I ask you, why does every star cheer for always have that kid in the bucket? Um. I want your word! No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my word! Oh my word! Yes. That's so crappy. I haven't said anything. Well, I don't believe a word that woman says anyway. Uh, what woman? That irritating backwater girl with the afro and that horrible country accent. I mean, what is that matter of speaking supposed to be? When does she never stop? Honestly, women these days, they don't know the meaning of the word modesty. Well, you're, you always talk too fast as well. Jesus. Girls, are you thirsty? Uh, a little. Okay, I'm gonna get you some juice or something. Uh, thank you very much. Hi, hey, are you paying attention? I'm gonna today. No, I'm guessing this old girl everything from water. What happened? I want to ask you about what happened around the time of the murder. Ah, I don't know anything about that. I was here getting ready. Getting ready? For what? Show, of course. Well, and the press conference afterwards. Mysterious music from the magical press conference. Anyway, I don't know anything about the murder. Ah, I see. But, but if you're talking about what I saw, that's different. I saw it very clearly. What? I saw the most important moment of the night. And I what you the, witnessed? And I had the internet on, so I apologize. I don't think anyone cares, I ass. <laughs> the most important moment? You don't mean? Oh, but now you take it with respect. Disrespectful child? If you speak to your eldest, you should always be full of really kids today. Please tell me, what did you see? I saw, uh, like... Ice Pime with my eye for Cyclops. Number one, two, three, four, yeah. Heard the last time was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder is it? Please don't stray on to another thing, and please... You wanna hear more? Then show me your respect and bring this lady a present. A present, she says. Hmm. Well, let's get out of here then. Yeah, let's go to the viola wall and to the hallway. And then to the other place. And other places. And the other places. Looks like the investigation's still in full swing. All tell the hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating on our own in the kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll off these sleeves and try it, I guess. <sighs> Anyways, to do the hallway. Oh boy. <sighs> hey, you're here! Hey, wait for it, Mr. Lawyer! What a... Hey, Mr. Cuffella! The thief saw his face! What? Listen, put him on trial! Put him guilty! Give him the death penalty! What's wrong, Lana? Are you feeling alright? Look here and there, and up and down the mountain, but it is here! Why don't you just hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? 
Uh, what are you looking for? I camera! C-M-E-R-A! My left one! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Camera? Uh, some lots of people say the criminal always going back to sin the crime! And looky, looky, here you are! Yep, here I am. Faced with a lot of trouble! Ha 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 ha. Huh? It's, it's a lot of hard. It's, it's a lot of, like, Phoenix Wright's name. It's a pawn. Uh, well, no, not the first name, but do you get what I said? What I mean. So you lost your camera? Hey, no one down camera! You buy the store and it's $1,500 brand new! Huh? But didn't you just say you brought it in seven dollars? But on. Seven hundred dollars, who cares? And let's not talk with the guy at the store. But by far, I reckon. I just did a bit of scratch on it and the master got all hopped up in the fence. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it. Don't make me cry at that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, I the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking in the bank. That's when I lost sight of my dear darling Spencer Sweeney. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't remember, no. I set the shot of anything that caught my eye. I don't remember. As long as I couldn't get anything from my big school. I wonder what if Lotta's missing camera did we get to the murder? It has everything to do with the murder. What happened? Tell me what happened. Lawler, please show me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Well, before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually I was here until around the time that our son was arrested. What were you doing here? To show you where the school city boy, whatever one of our goals, and the story was found. A big school to be had. Big school? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Reckon for us that made a moment. What scoop she was after this time? Although I was also on the lookout for the other star that was here. Uh, maybe I wasn't here at that time. Big scoop! Yes. Lot, are you sure you weren't here the entire time? So you could take a pitch for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I guess I'm just excited, but I thought to myself, I didn't get a picture for proof. What kind of story was it that you would like? Uh, you would hang around here. Oh god, not again! Hey, Psychoth number four, and I mean five and six. Oops, sorry, Mr. Lawyer, can't be telling you that. Trade secret, no? It's not a trademark. Again. Why does everyone have something to hide? Because they are jerks. We've been spo uh, stop it, haven't we? Yep. Haha, <laughs> yeah, do that, Mr. Lawyer! Hey, now, wait a minute. I'm glad someone around here is happy, Miss Lana, and your I rule smile. I rule. Let's move to Corita's room. To the victims. To the victim. Yes, where the oh, murder happened. Oh, lots of happened. bears! Wow. Lots of bears. Rita's all Pearl. 66, wait now. Mr. Nick, where are we? We're in Mr. Juan Corita's room, Pearls. Mr. Corita? The victim. Which makes this the crime scene, too. Oh, it's you! So, what's happened? The kidnapper! Has he got you again? Yes. Uh, yeah, he probably won't be. Won't until we win the song guards at quit Um, doing okay, pal. I get in there. Well, might be all right. We don't have a lot of time for that, but I'm going to help you as much as I can, pal. Can you do that? Even if we want to look around the crime scene? Just this one. Special circumstances, right, pal? I'll even tell you everything I know. But you gotta keep quiet. It's my neck on the line here. <laughs> Thank you. Who cares about your neck? Oh, that's right. I got you guys a map of the whole town, pal. Here you go, little missy. Oh, you can give it to me? Thank you. I wouldn't want you to get lost in a hotel too, babe, but I'm good. Mr. Nick, I got a map! Pearl's got a map! Wow. That's great, Pearl. Huh? But Mr. Nick, I can't read what it says. Well, too bad. Okay, we're stuck to Gamshu, sure, because we kind of don't have anything better to do. Do you know what was the cause of that? Well, technically, the final autopsy report isn't out yet, but... Well, I'm not gonna see another crime shit tell you, pal. See another crime? Yeah, here's a picture. Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, boy. There's a knife in his chest. Yep, pal. That's the bird of the weapon. So he stabbed to death. You're looking at the fingerprints now in the lab right now. There were fingerprints on the knife? Yep. And it looks like they're pretty sharp there. Mr. Hunter's prints, pal. That's bad. Real bad. Well, crime photo. No reason for arrest. 
Why was Mr. Ong arrested? Because we had evidence on him. Everyone has evidence on them. Evidence? It looks like the victim, one Rita, really put up a big fight. Let's have a look at the other side. Hmm. Yeah, if we look at the crime scene and you can tell, the signs of a struggle everywhere. Well, yeah, during the fight, this button came off. Mr. Ongar says something about a button. Something like one of the Japanese just buttons got caught in his Akama. But that's not all. What? It's a witness, pal. A witness? Of course. Who is it? Lady, it's all bad. Please, anyone but her. The prosecution has plenty of evidence to make a solid case. Not to mention, there's something in the crime scene that was a little off. Something that was a little off. As in, I say it, that's for you to figure out, pal. Alright, let's try to figure it out, Mr. Nick. Well, then let's go to the other side, shall we? And who's that? Let's examine uh, the wine glass yeah, that's on not? that thing. It's a beautiful wine glass. There's. Tomato juice in it. Ew, tomato juice. I don't really like that much. There's a bottle of it on the table over there. It's probably where this came from. But doesn't it seem weird? What seems weird? I mean, everything else is here all, all over the floor. She's right. The flower vase was broken. The makeup is strewn everywhere. Why is the quest the only thing that's still alright? Hmm. Uh, weird. Okay, let's we'll see Zemin. Yes, cause it's wet. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, I examined the, the, the piece of the bottles that are on the floor. No, I think you also examined that. Anyway, bottle cosmetics are scattered all over the floor. This is probably where Mr. Karita fought in the silence. What's the glass fragments from? Oh, basically, there are flaws on the floor. I don't know what they are. I don't know much about flowers, <laughs> do you, Nick? I suck! Okay, but she's having the right thing. Yeah, I, I actually like this. Uh, it's okay, yeah. This is... a guitar case, I guess? A little beat up, but still usable. That's strange. The guitar is not here. Maybe he forgot to bring it to the show? But Miss Maya, she said that the bright red guitar was the Jemmy Ninja signature item. That's true. Huh? This guitar case is wet. It's only wet on top of the lid. Hmm, suspicious. Yeah, there's no water inside the case. This is a water, isn't it? Well, we have the guitar case. Yes. And now let's present something to Gumshu. Uh, which is the wine glass. You can actually present it later, but uh, we'll present it now. Why not? So about this wine glass. Ah, so you noticed it, pal. Old price even fast, but this glass was the only thing that was untouched. You noticed that too, Detective Gumshu? No, actually, this all kind of knows it first. Pearls notice it before me too. Hey, wait a minute. So, does that mean Miss Von Karma is coming here? Yeah. Yep, she's coming. Man, you're going to be in so much trouble, pal. I think it'd be best if you didn't bump into her here. You can't bet the instant I see her, I'll be running to a thousand meter dash. Yes. Crap. Well, it's too late. <laughs> uh, we're done. <laughs> I'm gonna hide on the table if you don't mind, but. What's this beeping noise, Mr. Nick? Hmm. This sounds somewhere before. It's Miss Karma. Huh? Whenever I hear that sound, for some reason, she pops out of nowhere and whips me. Come to think of it, that didn't happen the last time. Sorry, I've got to make myself scarce. Later, pal. Oh! And pass out. <laughs> hey, how you doing? At best, you reveal your true nature, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Oh, it be too much to ask for you to be nice to for change. So, you're the type to steal information for its pitiful, hopeless detective? That's very Zarmu of you. <laughs> hey, don't you dare run away, Scruffy Map Transcode. <laughs> Transcode. <laughs> I didn't think that the detectives of this country could be this pitiful. <laughs> detective, come over here for a second. Ah, ah, it's faithful! It's faithful! Oh my god, I can't walk! I can't walk! And he passed out. This is too violent. Hmm. I feel better knowing that at least you were man enough to face your punishment. What's so scary? It just throws up on the spot. Mr. Phoenix Wright, you have spoiled my perfect prosecution record, and you got spoiled of being a perfect prosecutor, apparently. I'll never forget that. This time. Victory is mine! Victory is yours? Is that all this means to you? What? Hm. Come
Come, scruffy face. The investigation's briefing is about to begin. Yes, madam. This is only over yet. I swear to all my family honor. Bye. Ow! What is she to throw at me? What is this? Well, I guess this means I've gotta get back to the prison now, pal. Never need me. Come down to the criminal affairs department, alright? If you can, try not to let Miss Long Kama see you. Alright. Okay, let's examine that uh, thing she threw us. Which is in the table. Hey, Mr. Nick, what's this piece of paper? It's called an autograph. Autograph? It's got Mr. Karita's name written on it, so it's his autograph. Um, I can't read it at all. To be honest, I've never seen a writing that works like this. Ah, it's a special way of writing called cursive. Look here, see how it says, To my dearest Wendy, in more normal letters here. Wendy, huh? This sloppy, unreadable writing, it's crazy and cruel to give this to someone! Hold on. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. Good. Okay, with this we can actually break someone, but we're actually gonna do that later. So, let's move. For now, let's just explore more stuff, like, um... On guard's room. Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. Well, this room is clean, alright. <laughs> yes. So clean. Uh, where are we? We're Mr. Madame Gar's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? Hey, how you doing? Oh, well, wait, what? Um, um, we're... You're Mr. Ngar's lawyer, correct? Uh, I gather as much. I also look a lawyer on my hand, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he's your client. Oh, don't, my big mouth. In the situation like this, only person who could have used such a word would be the lawyer. His lawyer. Wow, it's simple as action, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Angar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here to, on the top of stop it in and mad dash and find clues to beat his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. I'm Andrian Andrews, and this is the part where I explain the name. Andrian Andrews, uh, her Japanese name, when I find her, is Kiryu Kamiya. And actually, all the names of all versions is supposed to sound like a guy's name. Kinda weird. Yeah, also the fact that Andrian and Andrews actually are kind of short for the same thing. But anyways, moving on. Oh, I'm Andrian Andrews. By the way, oh, by the way, I'm Andrew Andrews. You, you didn't mention uh, the, uh, what does the name mean. I did. I just did. Oh, oh, you was you was so fast. <laughs> oh. I just did. You were paying so much attention, NS. Sorry. I hate to waste time, so let's just get down with business. All right. Maybe I'll just, yeah, maybe I'll small stature. But appearances can't be deceiving. And the core again. Yay! I see. And actually, you're gonna see why your name is supposed to sound like a guy later on. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was going that, that night, correct? Yes, that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award, I had dinner with Mr. Angard. In this very room I might have. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you I hate the waste of time of trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed for a viola hall. And after the show ended, you came back to this room? No, I had a small rent to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was the time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to call for Mr. On Guard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Corrida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? You really help strong dolls everything through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be madly tough as nails. I'm sure of that. Um, so about you and Stop right there. Don't expect me to believe you have been talking to me without knowing how we relate. Sorry. 
I have no idea why Mr. Rengard chooses you as his wire. Why did she have to go and say something like that? Because I am Andrew Andrews. Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll head I'm uh, Mr. Rengard's manager. His manager? Uh -huh. Aha! managers? Did the victim Mr. Karina have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studio has very different policy from the Worldwide Studio in that. Worldwide Studio does not assign individual manners to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and forgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her places like this honestly. You're wrong! I I'm just doing for Mystic Maya say. Calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you juice later, alright? That was fun. I think we have presented something, and yes, we do. We have to present John Scorita's profile. Rowan Scorita, or whatever. You're so bad at pre Did you pointing know the at us. Yes, I knew him. The wor world was such a small place. <sighs> Did you know about his uh, rivalry with the uh, Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like a children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two compared who competed each other over uninteresting things. Hmm. If either of one of them weren't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Corita was killed. Let's talk about that. Yes. Do you have any ideas as to as to why Mr. Korea was murdered? Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Oh crap! Uh, what's it? Uh, 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 psych walk number. Um, I just was gone. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Miss Andrews. Sorry, but there's nothing more. I have to have the conversation. So many psych walks! God damn it! It is a psych walk, Mr. Nick. Yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Get out of here. Yes, and let's go to the viola wall where we shall find someone. 